Hey, we have Augie Peterson on the show today. She has a brand new audio drama that she's released on her podcast called Linda Listens. It sounds like it's going to be a great, uh, great show. I've already listened to the first episode and it is intriguing. I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out exactly where she's going with it, but uh, <laughs> Augie, welcome to the show. Glad to have you back on. How you been? Oh, I've been great. Uh, you know, it's funny. I was just listening to my old episode to make sure I don't contradict anything I was saying. <laughs> it has almost been exactly a year since we uh, made our episode. It was like Has three it days really? ago was oh, exactly wow. a year. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Crazy. Fantastic. Huh. Yeah. Well, so a lot has changed, yeah. but I'm doing well. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Tell me just a little bit about what's happened over the past year. I, I, I follow you on Twitter, so I know there's been a few things that have changed. I don't know if you want to talk <laughs> about any of that or not. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. The last year seems like a blur, but I feel like (laughs) I'm a little bit more confident in my ability to create things. I've tested the waters of audio drama a little more with my uh, short fiction. Um, I stopped doing movie reviews, though that's Mm -hmm. a recent thing. So, Mm -hmm. Um, Also, I came out. I'm gay, so that's cool. Yeah? Uh, Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I'm I'm not gay. I'm uh, pan and I'm ace. So... Okay. I'm in and, the, and the first community. word you said. What's the second word you said? I don't <laughs> know if I've heard that one before. Uh, that's asexual. So oh, hey. uh, basically, oh, yeah. I, I thought you ace, said ace. Uh, oh, I did. Oh, you did. That's okay. Like okay. A, kind of a short hand gotcha. for All right. gotcha. okay. asexual. All right. Sorry, I'm, yeah. you know, you're talking to a white, okay. straight, straight white guy here. I... <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, from, uh, oh, so yeah. Universe. So <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's okay. all right. Uh, I was listening to the old episode and just the amount that I talked about religion is like, okay, cool. Um, well, I'm LGBTQ now. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it's because I, I just interviewed um, uh, uh, Bo uh, Chapel and uh, I heard that episode. Yeah, you guys were so awesome. nice talking about my show. Oh, wow, your show's awesome to so talk so about. I mean, you got a great show. Of course, you talk about it. <laughs> but he was talking about oh, how he, the- he was uh, he was uh, actually. You know, he didn't realize how much religion had played a part in your life. And I guess he was, you know, talking about the same, that that was kind of his story as well. And um, so he really connected yeah. with that. So that's cool. Yeah, I've met a bunch of people who can relate to my my journey through religion and all that stuff, which uh-huh. has been so comforting coming out of it because I thought I was the only person, but uh-huh. I'm definitely not. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've met quite a few people, specifically in the horror community, who have used the horror genre to kind of try and get through how they process what they believe and all that stuff. It's so interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, I, I bet. I mean, I'd be interested to talk to some of those people, too, because it is a fascinating thing to me. And, and, and to have some of the same, you know, like you said, the same kind of background and how you guys have kind of found your way into the same kind of community as you've, mm-hmm. you know, come out and, and, and explored those different avenues. and. So I don't know. It's just it's interesting and fascinating to me in those regards. But let's talk a little bit about your your new audio drama you've got out. It is called Linda Listens, Sorry. correct? No, oh, you're fine. No worries. Yes, yes, it is called Linda Listens. So tell me, it is as strangely named. <laughs> it's strangely what? It's strangely named because I wanted it to see like Linda kind of named the podcast, so it's supposed to be uh-huh. really cheesy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of got that. So tell me just a little bit about um, about the storyline, you know, without giving away any, any uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Spoilers. Spoilers, uh, yeah. <laughs> tell me a little bit about uh, it. For sure. So it's the story of Linda, who is a middle-aged uh, Long Islander who um, unfortunately lost her husband and two children in a car accident a couple of years before this podcast takes place. And so she meets with her therapist and they both agree that it's a good idea for her to do something that she can completely throw herself into that she can use to kind of rediscover herself. Mm -hmm. So she picks an advice podcast because when she was in the hospital getting her nose job done, Mm -hmm. uh, she met a extremely hot nurse who introduced her to true crime, comedy, uh, short story, podcasts, etc. And she said, well, that sounds awesome. I give advice to my friends all the time, so I might as well try that. So she takes questions from Twitter and she answers them on her show. But as the show goes on, she continues to get interrupted by her very loud neighbor. And the show is six episodes total. It's going to happen on a biweekly basis from now through the end of October. And as the episodes progress, 
the neighbor is going to be interrupting a little bit more and we're going to eventually maybe go over to his house and talk to him about why he's being so loud. And that's all I'll say about that. But she definitely uses the podcast to search for meaning in her life. Uh-huh. But it ends up being a little more sinister than she had hoped. Okay. Um, and it's a horror comedy. <laughs> so gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> With yeah. that information, yeah. Yeah. Well, and, you know, I, I saw, uh, speaking of Bo uh, Chapel, I, I saw that he tweeted mm-hmm. uh, a couple of days ago that, uh, you know, he thinks that this is going to be a slow burn. And yes. after listening to the first episode, I have to agree because it, I mean, it's a slow burn. I mean, he's just, she's just talking, you know, like she's on a podcast and giving, mm-hmm. giving advice. And I'm just like, okay, I'm not seeing anything horror related in this podcast whatsoever here. I'm just saying, just saying. No, and that's that's the idea. I yeah. I listen to a lot of audio dramas after they come out, so mm-hmm. I know that they tend to be bingeable mm-hmm. after a while. So like they all come out, and then you just kind of find them on your own and go search search them out, and you listen to all of them in a row, and it's like, oh my gosh, that was a a roller coaster. Yeah. But you don't really have a concept of oh, there was like a two-week break in between the first episode and the second episode. And in the first episode, nothing really happened. Like, you got a taste, but you didn't really understand what was going on. And this is the first time that I've written anything this long for an audio drama format. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how well it's going to translate. But it does pay off, I promise. (laughs) (laughs) And it does get creepy. Yeah. Well, tell me, um, so you have released the first episode, uh, was it this week or last week that you, uh, I think it was last week. Yeah. I can't remember either. (laughs) Time just goes by so quick and it all runs together. I I think it was this week. It was like, it was just like, I think it was on the fourth. Yeah. 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 So um, I've been planning this for so long. I don't know what day it is. (laughs) I understand. (laughs) What's it been, what's the reception been like so far with your first episode? out? Crazy. Cause (laughs) I really did not, like, it's not something that overnight gained thousands and thousands of downloads and, like, people are eating it up and whatever. I don't expect that because, like you said, the first episode isn't really anything to write home about. And it is a slow burn kind of podcast. So Mm -hmm. I'm hoping as the story gets a little creepier, as we meet more characters, as more exciting things start to happen, um, then maybe it'll get a little bit more attention than it has now. Um, But I had not made an episode of my podcast for four months before this episode came out. Wow. Yes, because I got into that mental block that everybody who is a creator out there, I'm sure, can relate to during this whole pandemic and the political environment that we're in now. It just completely beat me down, and I just could not make any content. And I did that for, like, four months. And... I kind of came out of the gate swinging with this first episode being like, hey, I'm back. And also I'm doing something completely different. So here you go. Mm. But I got reception for the episode like it was any other episode of my show. I didn't lose any subscribers as far as I know. Oh, wow. I lost very few patrons over that course. It was just so amazing to see that people still cared about the stuff that I was making even after four months of absolutely nothing. Uh I was barely on Twitter in those four months. So for people to still be there and for me to continually get the same numbers that I had before I just stopped with little to no explanation was so inspiring that I'm I'm considering it a good thing and like a success that it went over well because I really expected people to be like, Oh, where were you? And now you expect us to like promote and listen to this audio drama. Like, what are you doing? So yeah, I'd say it went really well. (laughs) Good. You know, and I have a feeling that most everybody was like, Oh, Hey, look, Augie's back. Awesome. (laughs) You know, they probably saw it in their podcast feed. I'm like, I know I did. I'm like, Oh, right on. I mean, I knew you were coming out with the, with with the drama. So, um, you know, I did have that going, but when I saw that, I'm like, yeah, it's nice to have you back. So yeah, you you bet. You've always been one of my favorite podcasts and I I do, honestly, I do enjoy your movie reviews. And so I am a little sad that you've chose to kind of put, you know, an ax on that. I I really enjoyed doing well I enjoyed doing those a lot and I will still be doing them on Patreon but I'm not going to be doing them to the extent that I was Mm -hmm. because I just 
I felt this overwhelming sense of negativity Did just you? as I was reviewing the movies because every single movie I'm like, well, if I don't find something that's both wrong and funny about this movie, then there's no point in me reviewing it because that's kind of my shtick, you know? Yeah. I'm snarky, I'm sarcastic, and I have to find something <laughs> wrong with this. And then I just thought, like, what if I want to go into movies? You know, what if I want to be a director someday, or if I want to write a screenplay and yeah. somebody decides to do, to do this with my movie, I'm going to be so upset. Like I put so much work into these movies sure. and just somebody's ripping it apart because it's content for their podcast. And so yeah. I'm going to keep the reviews that I have up, up because even if I try to take them down, they're still going to exist on the internet somewhere. Right. So I can't exactly hide from the fact that I was that person, but I'm just trying to kind of get past that and not be so negative all the time. Sure. <laughs> Cause I mean, you were talking to Bo about his, um, uh, his geek man podcast. And I was, I was on that for an episode and it felt so weird going into it to be like, okay, well this is a specifically geeky podcast where I'm not supposed to talk about things that I hate what can I talk about? <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I just felt so bad. And yeah. I was like, listen, these special features are showing the directors building like caves in lots and using like fake blood that they made out of their own kitchen just to make something look realistic. And I even went through the process of making a short film a like last year or whatever and it was so stressful and if somebody just made a podcast about how much my movie sucked even if it was supposed to suck I would feel awful yeah. and I just don't want to keep doing that to people so as much as as much fun as it was it was just so much fun or it was so much work and it was so much mental energy to just be in that kind of mindset of like, okay, well, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, and this is why this is wrong, and I'm right. And I don't want to be that person anymore. All right, that's fair. I understand. I mean, you've made yeah. a, a very good uh, a, a good case for not doing the, at least not uh, on your regular podcast uh, your right, regular right. anymore. So tell me, what other um, uh, bonuses do you have on your Patreon that you're offering? Oh boy. So I actually just restructured my Patreon, which I'm very excited about. I just recently completely closed down the merch shop that I had and took all that merch and put it on Patreon. So oh. for certain uh, tiers that you sign up for, you can get specific merch that you can't get anywhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, there's vinyl stickers you can get, handwritten thank you notes, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, I'm in the process of making DIY pins, which oh, is super wow. fun, even nice. though I've been fighting with my printer all morning about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, and also I have a podcast compromi uh, comprised, that's the word, yeah. <laughs> comprised of the moments that my cat interrupts me while I'm recording. Uh -huh. uh, and while she's in the studio, I can't do anything because she's hitting the microphone with her tail or she's meowing or she's trying to sleep and I don't want to be loud. So when she comes in, I pull up Reddit and I read like retail horror stories or funny animal stories or things like that. Uh, and all of those moments end up on Patreon. Uh, plus, for Linda Listens, I actually had to make a bunch of sound effects myself. So uh -huh. I made a video of me making all those sound effects to a montage of a song. Uh -huh. uh, I've got bloopers. I've got my reaction to a voice actor that has yet to be announced that helped me with the show uh -huh. um, to his lines. I got all kinds of crazy stuff coming out on Patreon. Um, and so yeah, there's just so much going on. Uh, yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Alrighty, right on. Well, we'll make uh, sure yeah. we leave your Patreon link in the show notes uh, so people can oh, well, thank you. and subscribe to Patreon and get the full, the full, <laughs> uh, what's the word I'm looking, experience of, of Augie Peterson. That, that's, that's what I'm calling for. <laughs> I'm going to stick with that phrase right there. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> so, well, I'm excited to hear the rest. So there's six episodes altogether of yeah. this, uh, this podcast, correct? Of the, oh, of yes. The and 
Yes, there is. And also, I forgot to mention on Patreon, because uh, the main show of Linda Listens is bi-weekly. Mm -hmm. Every week that there's not a show on the main feed, there's a mini-sode on Patreon. And even at the lowest level of support, you still have access to those. So if you want Linda Listens every week, you can get a mini-sode on the weeks that I don't post an actual episode to the main feed. So there's a mini-sode for each episode. So if you're a patron, mm -hmm. you get 12 uh, episodes of the show that are all kind of wrapped up into one. Okay, so, so the mini episodes cool. on Patreon are different than what you're releasing um, to the general public, correct? Yes, okay. they are like questions that didn't make it onto the show, ah. or uh, at one point there's a conversation that you can't hear in the main episode, but you can hear it in the mini-sode. Uh, and then there's this really funny one that I love. Uh, that's the last one for episode six, uh, where you kind of get a peek into what life is like after the events of the last episode. Okay. I don't want to give any spoilers away, sure, but sure. it's yeah. very funny in my humble opinion. Right, so, so truly, to truly get the whole gist of what Linda Listens is, you, you need to subscribe to Patreon. That's what you're saying. I I mean, yes, but I know times are <laughs> tough right now, so obviously that's not an option for everybody, but I would say so, yeah, because there's minisodes and all kinds of stuff, and depending on the tier that you're at, uh, you can get all of the episodes before they even come out, so you don't have to wait until the end of October to hear all of the episodes, because they're all edited, recorded, and everything right now, so if you're a patron, right. you get all those episodes, and nice. you get to hear it before everyone else. That's great. But yes. Cool. Do you have anything we else going on, Augie? Like, do, are you writing any uh, stories or, or have you got <laughs> anything published or anything like that? Um, this is kind of what I'm focusing on at the moment just okay. because it's like taking up so much of my, sure, my mental absolutely. space. But I am still uh, working on the novel that I told you about in the last, <laughs> the last <laughs> interview that we did uh -huh. uh, that I got an idea for while I was in school. Um, I'm still kind of toying around with that. I recently had a big break in the plot and it just fixed so many problems. Oh. I just have to go in and actually write it all now. So I have a direction, which is great. I just haven't actually put the work into writing it yet because this show has taken up so much of my time sure. uh, in the last few months. So that's great. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not working on any specific, but. No, that's okay. I, I think this audio drama is probably, like you said, enough. Um, and yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, and folks, if you want the, the, the totally encompassing experience of Linda Lessons, you need to make sure you subscribe to your Patreon page so you can get all of the, the extra bonus stuff that Augie's offering, plus uh, sounds like some, uh, um, some self-written notes and DIY oh, yeah. pins as well, correct? Oh, yeah. I say that? Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, Augie, it's been a pleasure talking uh, with you today, and I hope that you get, like, just hundreds of new <laughs> subscribers to this new audio drama Aww. that you put out. There's been one episode, folks, so you still got five episodes to go, and you should be in on the front, uh, on the, on the front floor. No, let me try that again. On the mm -hmm. first floor, um, so you don't wait till they're all out, because, like Augie said, it's a different experience when you're waiting yeah. for the next episode to drop than it is when you can just binge them. And, and I think that's something we've missed in today's culture of, of, of just dropping up, you know, all the Netflix series all at once or all the podcasts all at once. So I think Augie's doing a great thing. So I think oh. Augie, you've made a good, a good uh, decision there in that. I mean, you keep oh, people hanging you. on, you know what I mean? They want that next episode. It's like an old radio drama back in the thirties and forties, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm excited. I can't wait to, to hear the rest of it and see where you went with uh, with uh, with this show. So, well, Thank Augie, so it's much. been a pleasure to uh, to get back in touch with you, and uh, we'll speak with you in the future if you've got some more stuff going on. I'd love to talk to you again. Absolutely. When my novel comes out, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Heck yeah! I'm excited about that. That's awesome. We'll have you back on the show for that. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Augie.